single term, a single phase system. So they arrive in the system, they queue, they being served, they leave the system. And the exercise is the following. So we have a garret, he is currently hiring a mechanic, his name is Sony, who is able to install a new part at an average rate of 3 per hour, which is 1 day 20 minutes. So he needing the service to arrive on average 2 per hour, and he currently pays him $5 per hour. So we are gonna calculate the total cost and the customer waiting time and customer dissatisfaction is $10 per hour. So we're gonna calculate the total daily cost of the system, rating cost plus the service cost. Okay. That's part one of the video. In part two of the video, we're gonna consider if he would consider replacing uh, the mechanic Tony with someone called Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy is faster but is more expensive. Tony is slower but less expensive. The only way to do this is by comparing the total cost of the two people. If it is worth changing, yes or no. So the first part of the video, we're gonna do a single channel, single phase system. There's only one uh, operator. His name is Tony. Tony, he get paid five dollar per hour at the following specification. So we're gonna go to Arena. We have the first system, which is create process and dispose okay so we have system one Tony <coughs> Tony and the arrival rate is 3 per hour on every or 1 every 20 minutes so our rate is 20 minutes so this is and the process so Tony see the delay release the operator is Tony and he served Oh, sorry, I got this wrong. He's able to install at an average three per hour or one every 20 minutes. They are arriving to the system two per hour. So here is expression 20 minutes. And here is, so they are arriving two per hour, so one every 30 minutes. So this is our system one okay we're gonna calculate the total cost to start with we need the resource cost and Tony is being paid five dollar per hour whether he's busy or idle he's being paid five dollar per hour so this is done we could here calculate build expression resource resource cost total idle plus total busy cost no border and we need a label here total resource cost as wages This is the first system, so we're gonna do project parameter costing for the price to appear. Uh, replication parameters we have eight hours of the day. So by running this, if it's getting paid five dollars per hour, we should obtain here over the whole day we should obtain thirty point forty nine. I just need to check, double check this. So if Tony is being paid five dollars per hour for busy and resource he must here get paid eighty dollar per uh, so we'll check this uh, we change the time into normal distribution we change the time into normal distribution here so it will be normal distribution of 20 minutes for average and standard deviation and here 
normal distribution of 30 minutes which is like twice 2 per hour and uh, if we go back to the resource we have the busy and add $5 per hour so in total we should get uh, $40 for the wages okay so we have as well as the customer dissatisfaction which is loss of less than $10 per hour I spent wait time line on average I have but let's do this so we need to copy this and uh, this is duplicate so this one be with the expression Q current number average number in Q average wait time Q or average number in Q so this one is average number in Q Okay, so if I run this, get the number of people in the queue. Currently none. As he did. So currently none. So if I put this into 5, and if I put this into... Five. Let's see how does it affect. So very, very, very small number. Okay. So we have here four. I'm gonna put it back as an average is faster. So this one will be expression, and I'm gonna put it as an average. And this one will be expression. Thirty minutes, and so this one is like zero point fifty-six. We need to know this one is run setup based time and unit. So this one is zero fifty-six minutes. Thank you. Which is really low, really small value, really small value. Uh, so we have here very, very, very extremely small value and so we need average time is spent queuing average number in queue is 0 0.56 so this will be average time spent queuing entity number n which is time average wait time this one will be average time Three point zero one second, and have the customer is ten dollar per hour. This satisfaction cost is ten dollar per hour. So when I gonna calculate the total service cost, I'm gonna calculate the total service cost as duplicate total. Service cost, and so this one will be average time and queuing as wait time divided by so here as a home we have ten dollar dissatisfaction cost times this one. This one is divided by sixteen. And we need the arrival rate. The arrival rate will be so this one okay. So system one Tony dot number out. Uh, entity number n times this one 